So I was just writing my little um, homemade spray paint tutorial and then it just hit me and I said, well, why am I not just going to make a quick video for you guys? So these are some of my homemade sprays. As you can see, I love bright colors. So I got pinks and purple and, and um, of course, turquoise and even mixed my own orange here because I wanted a little, um, it's more pastel-like. So let me just show you, that was a pencil. Um, before I'm going to mix a new color for you, I'm just gonna spray these onto my little sketchboard here. Don't you just love these colors? Aren't these awesome? Yeah, I love them. So sometimes the little hole right there just clocks up. But that's okay, right? We can live with that because we are mixed media artists. That, see that color? I mixed that myself. A little, little bit of orange and white and... Oh, it's so gorgeous. I don't want to make brown. Oh. And of course I needed yellow, so... Totally making a mess here, but that's just fine. See that? Homemade spray paints. Love them. I'm going to zoom in for you so that you guys can see. It's totally wet here. And that piece of sketching pad is not gessoed or anything. So yeah, don't you just love these bright colors? And these are really just simple acrylic paints mixed with water and a dab of um, Mod Podge. And I'm just going to show you uh, how I mix my spray paints. Okay, so these are the uh, spray paint bottles that I purchased off eBay. And they came in two uh, plastic bags. One had the bottles and one the spray thingy here. And of course I have to cut it so it fits into the bottle. And I'm just gonna quickly gonna do that. I usually um, don't cut it a little bit on over the, the bottom, if you know what I mean, you know. So I don't want it to go all the way down to the bottom of my bottle. So there we go. And I'm going to use some, that's really cheap acrylic paint, um, yellow ochre. So, yeah, I just need to open that tube. Holy macaroni. Here we go. So and I just add just a bit. I don't know if you can see how much is in there. Let me try. No. Oh, you can't really see, but it's not it's not much. It's like maybe maybe half a tablespoon. And then I take a little cup of water and just add probably so that the the uh, the bottle is half full. Now I can't hold it to the side because obviously it would start to run out of my open bottle here. So then I take my mop pot and uh, popsicle thing, whatever it's called. And like I said, I just take a dab like so. 
there's the camera. And I put it into my bottle as well. And now it's time to shade. And you have to shake it really well because that paint is a little bit thicker. Usually I ask my husband to do that for me, but he's not home now, so I need to do it myself. And then once I've shaped it well enough, I just open it up again and add more water so that my bottle is about three quarter full. So let's see if I measure it well. It's not, I don't really have a formula, it's just like I'm playing with it and that's why I don't put too much water in it at first so then I can always add more water later. Oh husband, I need you to shake my spray paint. Ta-da! Yellow ochre spray paint. And of course, these work with stencils. Alright, let me grab one. Let me grab a stencil. That dirty thing right here. Oops. might want to like take off some of that ta-ta isn't that beautiful so that's how I make my spray paint and like I said if I ever win the lottery I'm going to make my own spray paint my own line of spray paint which is permanent and don't steal that idea from me I'm just kidding. Uh, so, yeah. And the best part, cheap and permanent. Perfect for mixed media projects and art journaling and just layering things. Just fun. So, enjoy making your own spray paints. And save money. Woohoo! I hope I'm not gonna get in trouble with all the manufacturers. Okay, see you all soon. Peace.